In this video, I'll be showing you how to read Carnock notation for square 1. This notation was developed by Daniel Carnock, or Burpee Cuber, while learning PBO. So why even use this notation? First off, it's easier to write and type, it's also easier to read and say, it's shorter, and also with it, it's easier to memorize algorithm. So here's a standard algorithm in square 1 notation. First, we can take off the parentheses because they're not that important. Next, there's a lot of commas, which are also unnecessary, so we can also remove those. Finally, to make things less complicated, we can take out these slashes and make them spaces. Next off, what we can do is we can replace some of these numbers with some letters. So all the notations should be on screen right now if you want to memorize it. And after all that, the algorithm should look like this. So with those simple steps, this algorithm went from this huge mess into this very condensed notation. And you can already see how very efficient this method is. So turning the numbers into letters might seem very complicated, but it's actually quite easy to memorize once you get a hang of it. So for capital U and D moves, these should all be standard to debate three. So there shouldn't be much problem memorizing these. For E moves, you can also think of it as E moves on debate three. So for capital E move, move the top and bottom layers to the left. And for capital E prime, move the bottom layer and the top layer to the right. For lowercase E moves, however, you want to move the top and bottom layers in opposite directions. So lowercase U and D moves are also pretty simple. So instead of doing a capital U or D move where you do 3 on one side and 0 on the other, you'll just be doing a 2 on one side and 1 on the other side. So pretty simple. Here are some extra steps to this notation that's not officially part of it, but could make it even better. First off, the alignment at the end is not necessary, so we can take that out. Also, any zeros at the end are not necessary and we can take those out. We can condense this even more by taking out all those unnecessary spaces. And finally, we can use more letter combos to replace more numbers. So just as a reminder, we came all the way from this to this. So thanks for watching and hopefully the next time you read this notation, you can actually understand it.